Hey, what up, man? So, what about Chicago, right? <laughs> man, man, man. It's only a matter of time before, again, bro, um, uh, you know, the black community is going to have to address this elephant in the room, bro. Again, I don't want to hear about white people. I don't want to hear about Hispanics. I don't want to hear about Asians. I don't want to hear about people in Mexico. I don't want to hear about people in Colombia. I don't want to hear about people in Thailand. I'm not concerned with them, just like they're not concerned with us. Okay, when you when you are seeking power, man, I right, you first have to start within. All right, even if we go back to um, uh, the classic movies like you know um, the Last Dragon and everything, right? The, the power is always within yourself. You just have to unlock it, right? And with the black community, man, we keep looking to everybody else for power, unfortunately. Last night, um, again, because we refuse to hold individual black males accountable and actually, you know, deal with the reality versus our narrative, all right, our fantasy about white supremacy and everything else. And we just think we should be able to do whatever in the hell we want to do. For God's sakes, now you have Chicago yet again in the headlines because we are upholding and supporting criminality, all right? Bruh, if you shoot at a cop and the dude survived, again, do y'all not understand how you're hamstringing, like, you know, justice, how you're hamstringing your own safety? Because if a cop has got the second guess about a good shoot or a bad shoot, it could be life or death for him. Bro, the, the again, in the ultimate biological, one of the two life biological um things you automatically have is what? Survival and like reproduction, all right? Those are the two like subconscious, like <laughs> involuntary acts that your body and your mind automatically, you know, thinks about, all right? Male and female, okay? So when you're challenging somebody, of their whole so entire survival, man, and that split second could cause you your life. What are we doing here? Bro, I don't have time to worry about your opinion or nothing else if somebody's shooting at me and I'm and I'm armed. Okay? What y'all are gonna do is, and again, you're empowering the criminals, man. You're empowering the criminals because criminals don't give a damn about the law. <laughs> That's the thing about making laws. That's y'all don't understand. Making more gun laws and making stricter laws about this, that, and the other only applies to law-abiding citizens, the people that are afraid of the consequences of breaking the law. People that are criminals, criminals are just that. They don't care about the law, all right? And I'm talking about violent crime more so than anything else. Like, well, you don't want to wear a mask. Again, come on, man. Some stuff is just ri utterly ridiculous, okay? We're talking about a person that's clearly in the wrong in the commission of a crime and using a deadly weapon as a firearm, bro. Come on now. What you gonna do? How many times have we seen it? Back, going back to Minneapolis where the dude was protecting his store and, you know, he shot somebody and killed him and this dude was arrested the same day. You know? Your Second Amendment right tells you, hey, you have the right to um, not only bear arms, but use them, okay? <laughs> it's not just the right to hold you. A gun is not made to just hold it and pose with it like Malcolm X in the window, all right? A gun is made to use and save your life in, in that life or death situation may it occur, man. And far too often, again, we're, you, you, what are you guys doing? You're making, it, you're making it easier for martial law and all the stuff you claim you don't want for the government to have to step in and take over from the regular police because the regular police are being hamstring. All right? What the hell is Lori Lightfoot doing? She's going to war with, with the, 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 the president of the United States, but she's not going to war with the criminals that, that are terrorizing the citizens of her city. What sense does that make? And again, for the <laughs> one million times, I'm not even a conservative. This is strictly based off the the um, the dangers that black people in the black community is being put in. Because what do I keep telling y'all? Places like Chicago are a microcosm of the black community in its entirety, man. Unfortunately, all right. Any all the ails and wrongs and, and and stuff that's messed up with the black community can be seen in Chicago, bro. Chicago was one of the one of the, mo the most modern places to where they they made up like these these uh deleterious nicknames Chirac right Chirac 
And of course it was made um uh you know popular by the whole drill music thing and where all they shoot a nigga in the head, shoot him till he dead, to, all this crazy shit, right? Which is again, it's it's entertainment, and I understand that, man. It's fun. I listen to the music too. I listen to Chief Keith. Um uh, you know. Next one of you niggas say something bad about Chief Keith. <laughs> that's that's one of the best workout songs ever. You know what I'm saying? But all in all, man, like I said, the, the, the major issue and problem you have in the black community is our inability, man, to comprehend and separate. Damn, bro, that's bad. Oh, shit, damn. Somebody's up out of there, bro. Somebody's dead, man. Damn, bro. Man, Norfolk is just horrible, bro. Jesus Christ. A semi it just literally smashed this truck to death, to pieces, man. Hey, RIP, bro. Jesus Christ. But, um, uh, yeah, man, um, what was I saying? Damn, this is stop my thing. But y'all know, hey, I don't, ain't no edits, all right? So we, we, we gotta, we gotta keep it moving. Um, yeah, man, um, the, these nicknames and things, man, and, uh, oh, this is what it was. So we're, we're unable to separate reality, man, from, from the entertainment. That's one of the biggest things. Well, that's really where you live. Well, again, man, the, the object is to get out of the hood, people. If you're in a bad situation and you purposely stay there for the sake of saying, oh, yeah, I came I came from here. I came from there. You know, I made it out of Chirac. Bro, you, you're a fool. All you're doing is wasting, you know what I mean, risking your life unnecessarily. If you're in a pit of snakes and you're going to stay in a pit of fucking snakes for the sake of saying, yeah, man, I, you know, I, I sleep in a bed of snakes all night. And then you get bit and die. Well, hey, am I, am I supposed to feel sorry for you? Am I supposed to feel sorry for you? No, I'm not. You're staying there for the sake of, of, of hardness or, 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 or whatever. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's, it's ridiculous, man. We got to get out of this thing where we're trying to define ourselves by our hoodness. I keep telling y'all this. But y'all ain't got to listen to me, man, again. Like I said, however it go, bro. Me and we. The, the squares, the lames, the straight arrow guys, the productive black man that's been that way our entire lives, bro. We're the majority. I'm going to keep saying it. I'm going to keep preaching it. I'm not going to stop. Okay? And until y'all put us on top and at the forefront, it's going to be more talks about Chicago and everything else as a representation of black people. All right? As the black community. All right? You're going to hear more about Chicago. Then you hear about the, the young black men that, that are, um, are creating these million dollar apps and all these other things. You know why? Because again, that's what black people choose to celebrate. You don't celebrate the the um, the best and brightest of us, all right? Because we automatically um, assume that, oh, they good, they smart, so they can make it on their own. They don't need no praise, they don't need no help, they don't need no excuses, they don't need any of this. But yet and still, like I said, the dude that's already, and this, that allegedly this dude was a 15 or 16 year old, some type of young, young dude, right? I don't know the age, but he was a younger cat. We'll just say that. He was a young cat. Um, uh, this dude just turned, literally turned the city upside down over some criminality. All right? So, all in all, man, this is ridiculous, bro. It just is. It's ridiculous. We got to get out of this, this BS, bro. We got to get out of this thing as to where we're just supporting the, the least the least of us. Point blank period. The least of us, man. We gotta stop it. And until that until that happens, man, this stuff just gonna keep happening. So yeah, what about Chicago? This this is this is everything about Chicago. City turned upside down and, and niggas using this as an excuse to steal, rob, loot, and everything else. I keep telling y'all, man, y'all the minority. And when the hammer come down. Don't be talking about white supremacy and racism and all this other stuff. You did this to yourself. Because why? We always root for the worst of the worst of us. Anybody that's committing a crime and shoot at the fucking police is a piece of shit. Point blank period, bro. Point blank period. Ain't no if, ands, or buts about it. You shoot at the police, bro, you get what you fucking deserve. If you get killed, you deserve it. If you get shot, you deserve it. And yes, I am saying that. You shoot at the fucking police while in the commission of a crime and you die. Hey, it is what it is. Niggas die every day, B. But again, when you say that, you a coon. When you say that, niggas, niggas wrestle fucking two cops down, man. <laughs> and shoot at them with a taser, right? Oh, oh, didn't have to kill them. 
I'm, man, I'm sick of you. Sick of you niggas, man. But it is what it is, man. That's that on that when I catch on the next.